show you what we're doing over here. So uh, just for um, just for simplicity's sake, I'm just going to show you how to tie a timber hitch, okay? It's the easiest one. You want to be as low to the tree as you can. So when you throw it around this way, you're going to come under it, just like you're holding it. And then all you're doing is just making wraps in here, just a bunch of wraps. Real basic, okay? All right. And then make one, put one right here. You're gonna have to pull it out. Yeah, why? Those big old gloves, bro. <laughs> big old robot gloves. <laughs> you want a different pair of gloves? Like a thinner pair? You I got one? Uh, yeah. yeah. Check, check the uh, console of my truck. Here, I go look. Yeah, just keep wrapping it until you get to the other side. Boy, some real gloves. Got them dang robot gloves. Boy, got them robot gloves. What the? These will be tighter for you. Morning. How you doing? Good. That's probably good right there. So this, all these wraps will keep this tight, nice and good, okay? So the trick to this is when I'm in the tree and I get all the way to the top, we're not gonna have to rig any of this stuff out. All this stuff I'll cut and kind of throw here for you to grab. But when we do get to the top, okay? So here's, you're gonna be down here, okay? You got the bag. You got the bag and this end just for, I wonder if I can get it up here. Let me see. Just so it makes sense for you. Um, okay, so I got that part in the tree, right? So all you do is you take a bite of rope, take a bite of rope, just a bite. And then you're gonna go through this bollard. You're gonna come in through the short side, short like your pecker. Short the short side. Pecker. See, that's that's my side. That's There's my your side. side. Okay? okay. So you're gonna go over this and back through there. Okay. Now pretend like hold that. Pretend like that's going in the tree. Okay. So technically, this is a half a wrap. Okay. If I say half a wrap, something light, that's all you need. So in order, in order to really get the line tight, this is what you do, is you, you would pull down to me and then lift up on this side, right? You would capture it again, right? And I say, get it tighter. So you're gonna pull, it's gonna create slack, and then you're gonna come up with your right hand and pull it tight, okay? Then you're gonna catch it with your hand, and then I'll be in the tree, it'll be tight. And I say, it's just a half a wrap, it's something light, that's all you need. If I say, hey, put one wrap on it, and then come back to here and use this as your cleat, that's something decent size. This is something heavy, which I'll tell you, two wraps, and then you'll lock it off here, okay? So there's, there's a couple different techniques of doing this. There's letting it run, which means that instead of you just 
when this piece starts to fall, when this piece starts to fall, it starts to it starts to pull slack out of your hand. That's what you want to let it run. Oh, it's kind of hard to explain, but basically what you're doing, if you hold on to this and the piece drops, it doesn't go anywhere. But if you if you slightly let it out of your hand while it's going, it'll come down nice and easy and it won't shake the tree. You'll see what I mean because I'll have you do one where I say hold it and you'll see where it'll just come off and stay. And then we'll do one where I say kind of let it run out of your hand, but not out of control. So like if there was like, you know, a car here or a little baby here, you can let it come down and then scare it and then like stop it like right before it's about to kill the baby. You know, like, just kidding. Like Spider-Man. Yeah, like Spider-Man. Well, I like I saved the baby's life. Okay, so I'm gonna take, so do what I just told you to do. So this is to me, I'll just act like I'm in the tree. Okay, take a bite of the rope and put a half a wrap on. Good. Small pecker. Big pecker. Yeah, and then see, see what's gonna happen with this bullet is when it's in the air, it's gonna turn into this position. All right, so now, I'm gonna introduce a little bit of slack. So now get get the baller tight. Nope, you gotta pull this one first and then up. You see how up, no, this way. This way. Yeah. And if you're right-handed, I suggest you use your right hand. You're pow you're right-handed, right? You're left-handed. Okay. <laughs> that just screwed everything up. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so basically, mm -hmm. yes. So it's like like this here hold this over here so okay give me some slack okay so now look I pull it this way pull it this way and up and okay. then in order to catch it I just use my hand to go like that and I say hey it's not tight enough you need more so it's this way because you see how the motion is this motion yeah. it's not this way it's not that it's this way so it's out and then up and then catch it and then i say hey that's good okay and then all you got to do is back away so hold that right there i'll say okay it's ready to come down then you'll get it and you'll come out this way away from where the away from where it's at and then as it's coming down if i say hold on to it you'll hold on to it if i say let it run when it's coming down you'll let it peel out and then you'll stop it okay we'll do two so so you get the scenario better uh. And then I'll give you time as, I'm, I'm thinking of doing it two ways. I'm thinking of either brushing the tree out and getting it all on the ground and then we both can clean it up. Um, so I, I think I might do that. Just so you're not cleaning it all up by yourself and slowing me up. Not that, you know, like you want to, but it just will be faster, I think. It's hard to climb with these glasses on. And also, when I'm in the tree, try to keep my line out of like sticks and getting all caught up, okay?
Bring me that uh, that green bag over there. Come on. Say something about it. There you two. That was that was Mark, our guy we're calling. What's that? I'm sorry. That was Mark, the guy we're calling to, to, to unload. Okay. I didn't know today was a holiday. You're working on a holiday, bud. Is it? Patriots Day. Nice. The city's off, so he's made arrangements when we call him. This, all the city workers are off today. So okay. Mark's gonna when we call Mark, he's gonna meet us out there. We we're bypassing Howie. Nice. Yeah, make it easier. Bypass the middleman, right? Bypass the middleman. Or Mark would have been the middleman, so we're bypassing the big man. Awesome. That works too. <laughs> Somebody's getting bypassed. Yeah, it's a good whatever the reason is, it's a good thing. That's it. Yeah. Nice. Well, happy Patriots Day, happy. fellas. <laughs> That means you get a double time today. That's it. Well, don't say it too loud. Okay. <laughs> you get double time today. Ah. <laughs> Give him a little extra. Oh gosh. And he's and um, I said you don't have a chipper, so you're not chipping today. You're just hauling out and dumping. Yeah. Yeah. It would have been nice. I I don't have a driver. Another driver. He took off. So it would have been nice to chip it up. It would have made less of a. He just would have had a pile of chips instead of a. Yeah. Branches and stuff, but. Does he take chips too? Yeah, uh, when I talked to him last week, he said we may have to dump it in two different places. It'd be at the same location, sure, but, but two different chips piles. and stuff. He said because one burns and one doesn't burn, sure. but now it'll all, I guess it'll all go to one place. Yep. I mean, it's the same con um, It's the same area, it's just two different piles. Gotcha. saw is so loud it's gonna wake up the whole neighborhood if they're not up now they're gonna be up all right all right hand me that rope that's in that bag This is the rope that you're going to make sure that's clear of everything.
and that's good you don't have to hold it just uh, get that rope put it over here move that green bag back over to the station where we got all our stuff and uh, let's get to work <laughs> Heaven let your light shine down. You still hear me? Yep. If you if you want to if you want to cut if you want to get that in there and start cutting it up go for it I'll just try to make little piles and not bury you too much but just go ahead and take what you can get put that rope probably over here
Uh, lilacs. Who likes lilacs? They're so annoying. Where's my knife? Great. Oh, there it is. Right there where I left it. Right there where I left it.
Man, that was a big one. Big wood chip just flew in my eye. All right, I'll let, I'll let you clear that out. I'm trying to get the butts to you so they're easier to grab, but some of them may be a little buggered up. Just let me know when you're under me, okay? Patriots Day, huh? That's what he said. That's awesome. Yeah, thanks.
This thing is all limb locked. I wish I could just push it out. Cutting the branch. So now, uh, what I didn't show you was how to send up that other rope. Uh, okay. So, you think you can come up with something to get me that other rope? I doubt I'm going to be able to explain it to you. So let me show you. Put a put a bite in the green rope. Okay now uh, wrap that rope over that bite. Yep. Now pull that through. Uh, no, no, just pull no no no. Um, just listen to me. Pull that piece that you got in your hand down more. Okay, now reach your hand in that loop inside and grab the other side of that rope. Yeah. Now pull now pull both tight. Oh, no, I'm sorry, you did it wrong. So, put it back the way it was. Okay, now make that green loop bigger. Okay, now reach your hand in it. Now look, grab that other standing piece, the other one that's by your belly. No, no, no that one. Yeah, now pull it through. Pull it tight. Pull, pull, now pull on the green loop. Ah, uh, no. Tell you what, take take two bunny ears and just tie them together. I'll sh I'll show you that when I get back down. Sorry, I forgot to. That'll work for now. You know what they say? Can't tie a knot. Tie a lot. That'll do for now. I forget. That was the one I should have showed. Oh, okay. Not the important one. Well, it is the important one because that's my life. 
of my second life. All right, hold on, let me go around it this way. All right. All right, good. Now, what I think we're gonna do is, we're gonna take this top. I think I can push that out. All right. So I'm gonna make a face cut to where you're going and uh, do that first. This trusty here rigging line. Hey, do that, do that same thing, but give me the orange ring. Yeah, the orange rings. The rings, it's like an orange uh, band, a rope with loops in it, and it's got a silver ring in it. It should be in the green bag. Yeah. it I, mean, I can't hear you Nice.
All right, so take your bite. Nope, rigging rope. Take that whole bag with you and go over there. Over to the left. More. Yeah, just so you're out of the way. All right, now take your bite. Get closer to the porter wrap with your bite. So let go of that one and make one closer so you don't have to pull all that extra. Yep. Put it in into the short end, around the top, and then grab the bag, the, the bag end. Now pull all that slack through. Remember how I showed you how to do it? Now pull with your left hand. There you go. Now pull with your right hand out. So so now how do you think you're supposed to get to the bottom of that now? Remember what how yeah, there you go. Capture it. Now do it again. Pull out and then up with your left. More. There you go. Now, now yard up. That's a good move there using your foot. That's good. Okay. Now for this one, put, put a wrap on it. Wrap it. Uh, you just let go of all that slack, bud. You gotta have to use some common sense. We need we need the slack to stay in. So then wrap it with your left. Yeah, with that hand. Now wrap it underneath. No, you're you're creating a loop. Use your left hand and go on over it. Yeah. No. You you got it. I don't understand why you're just not doing it. Use your left hand and just go under the ballard. Don't you don't have to hold anything with your right hand. Use your left hand, go right under it. Go right under, no. With the rope that's in your hand. There you go, yes. Okay, so now that's one wrap. Okay, so back away from the tree. Cause you know, you got a top falling out so you don't wanna be under it, common sense. Come on. All right, so back up a little bit. You don't, no, that way. Go out a little bit more. Okay, so this one, you're gonna hold it and not let it drop. Um, it's probably going to shake me pretty good, but uh, I'll take that for a learning lesson for you. If I got to push this sucker that's pretty hung up in this, so just hold it. And what we're doing is you're keeping it from running. On this next one, I'm going to have you run it a little bit so you can see the difference, okay? So don't let the rope slide out of your hand at all. It shouldn't. This isn't that heavy. All right. This may come out a little weird, but we'll see how it goes. She's stuck in there good. All right. Now, you see how it didn't drop at all? Yeah. Now try to let go of it a little bit. See how it's coming down? Let it go a lot. There you go. You just did your first rigging. Congratulations. So now what you normally would want to do is, I kind of messed you up, but you kind of want to take take the wraps off of the off of the uh, porter wrap. So take that one wrap, or you might be able to just to grab that tip of that tree and drag it to you and let it come down because the tip is what's holding it up and your friction on the porter wrap. So it's the it's the friction on the porter wrap the, uh, that the that's wrap holding. Okay, cool. So just let it go. Let it drop down. The wrap's off. Well, how come the tree's not falling? 
Oh, you still got the other half a wrap on. So even even that half a wrap adds friction. A half a wrap is is probably good enough for a lot of what we do. Maybe like bigger oak trees and maples that are heavier. Take usually take a full wrap, and then once we're chunking down big pieces, um, that's what takes like two or three wraps, or even locking it off. So. Pay, uh, listen to me for a second before you take that off. So normally, what you'll do is take take everything, the whole bite, out of that porter wrap. It'll make loosening this knot up for you a lot easier. Right out. There you go. Now you got all the room you want to play with. Go ahead. Take that bowling off. Good work so far. Doing good. I might hire you after all. <laughs> I don't want to fire anybody on Patriots Day, you know? That wouldn't be right. Working on a holiday and get fired, that's not right. I didn't even know, you might get an extra bonus today. I didn't know it was Patriots Day today. Does that make me less American? I bet you if we took a toll, I bet you about 86 to or a higher percent of people didn't know it was Patriots Day today anymore. Unless they had the day off. Yeah. <laughs> More so your generation would know. I didn't know. Well, you're an exception. All right, so now what you can do to get me this rope faster is pull it to you. Anything you can do to make my job easier helps. Because I'm the one in the tree getting tired. You're on, and you're down there moving all the brush, so we gotta work together so I can get down and help. All right, all right, don't pull too much now. It'll pull me out of the tree. So now this one, we're gonna do the same thing, except you're gonna let this run, and I wanna show you the difference, okay? We don't really have nothing we could damage except a few branches, but the fence I didn't wanna damage, okay? That's why we stopped it. You probably could have ran that and stopped it before it hit the, the fence, but I just wanted you to see the difference between the two. That's why we're doing it this way. Get your bite. I'm loving that you're learning this, man. This is awesome. This is a huge help. Seriously. There you go. There you go. Good job. Okay, so this time just do a half a wrap. That's all you need. This time, what's going to happen is when I cut it, it's going to start falling. You're not going to feel anything until it actually gets to this point. So when this rope 
folds over this block, that's when you know it's gonna start going. You probably can't see it because the sun's right in your eyes. This time what you're gonna do is let some of that rope go through your hand and try to stop the tree gradually. And so as it's, as it's like blaring through your hand, don't just like grip on it. You can at certain times, but try to like slowly, like slowly squeeze on it so that it stops smoothly. If you can't and just grab on it, that's fine. Uh, what I want you to try to do is let this tree get as close to the ground as you can and then stop it, okay? It was better than uh better than it slamming against me the whole point of letting it run is so that i'm not in the top of the tree like it hits me and it's like boom 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 and it's shaking the heck out of me So this rigging line, you can take, uh, we're not going to need it. Sorry. You're not supposed to be working. It's Patriots Day. Sorry. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? Good. I didn't know. Patriots Day. Yeah, me either. I mean, I, I still would work if it was Patriots Day. I'm, I'm equality. I'll work on Martin Luther King Day, yeah. Patriots Day, LGBTQ Day. I just like to work. I'm glad. We appreciate it. Yeah, thank you for letting me do it. Oh, golly. Oh, golly. Yeah. Let's get me some more room here. <sighs> Thank you. 
And just for safety, we will double tie in. 